Hi, I'm Damien, uh, bartender over at Liquid Kitty in West LA, California. And uh, I'm here to tell you a little bit about the Martini. It's a traditional old drink that's been around for a couple hundred years. Um, everywhere you go, you're gonna get a different bartender to tell you a different story about what a Martini really is. Um, and none of them are wrong. None of them are absolutely right either. The interesting thing about the Martini is that it started as a gin-based drink, and it was traditionally two-thirds gin and one-third vermouth, um, uh, dry vermouth. Um, oftentimes, they would put a dash of bitters in it. Uh, bitters was developed a couple hundred years ago as a uh, cure for a stomach ache or a headache or any kind of illness that you might have had. Um, so oftentimes a dash of bitters was put in a martini. Over the years, the bitters has gone away. I don't know of anyone nowadays that uses bitters in the martini, unless it's some kind of really crafty cocktail place with a mixologist who demands to do it. But even that is very rare. Um, over the course of time, gin has fallen out of favor a little bit, um, and vodka has taken over. And I think, my opinion is that in the 50s, when people would go out, uh, for their liquid lunches and they'd have a two martini lunch and uh, they went back to the office. You could literally smell gin, not only on somebody's breath, but in their pores. Uh, vodka was a much cleaner drink. It was easier to drink and mask. So they went out, they, the martini went from gin and it slowly transferred to vodka. Nowadays, in most bars, you're gonna find out, find that it's primarily a vodka drink. Um, here at the Liquid Kitty, our main drink, the Liquid Kitty, is a vodka martini. So when people come in and order a martini, I ask them a couple of questions. Do you want vodka, do you want gin? Do you want it straight up, do you want it on the rocks? Do you want olives, do you want a twist? Do you like it a little sweet, do you like it a little dry? Do you really want a martini, do you want a Gibson? Because a Gibson is a martini, but with, instead of olives or a twist, you get onions with it. 